hey guys my name is isaac matthew you can find me on matmega.com in today's video we'll be looking at how to how to um um gently retouch this amazing skin model and um, make it look nice and beautiful so without any further ado let's head straight to photoshop so i just imported my my image inside photoshop and um if you look at the image here you understand that i've not really processed the image this is still the raw file so the first thing i do here i change my color profile to adobe vivid okay now if you look at this exposure the exposure is not really cool with me so i guess so i have to increase it a bit now reduce the highlight because it's a bit too much the shadows i have to bring it down white bring it down then um the black i have to bring it down as well okay let's see check the contrast okay so this is the before and after all right let's still move up the um, exposure to here maybe around 55 okay um not really cool let's check 55 sorry um 55 okay let's check 50 50 is quite cool all right so um this is basically what i do here so the next thing i do i move my temperature to around this um so this is the before and after basically this is what i do when i want to work on my picture then the sharpening i have to add a little around 50 yeah 50 is cool now the next thing i do is i hit open this is basically how i process my raw image before bringing it down to photoshop so currently i shot this um, image with um, eosr 7200mm and um, i will still post the behind the scene of the shoot but before then let's head straight to photoshop we click open um okay now the image has opened so like we all know the first thing we we'll do here is um we duplicate the image with uh, ctrl j or you drag down to this place now select the um spot healing brush to expand it sometimes if you don't want to duplicate this image at times i use empty layer to you know remove all my blemishes so i think this time around i'm going to use my empty layer so let's start removing the um blemishes and mm, making it look spotless okay so anything you are doing you have to be extremely careful when i mean careful you have to be careful right so this is basically what i do the aspect of removing um, blemishes and all that so as you can see on the image the image doesn't have much wrinkles spots and blemishes i've taken care of the little uh, i i saw and um the rest i will take care of them with um frequency separation okay so this is uh, what i have here the next thing i do is i open my retouching academy so i i want to use um uh, frequency separation the one inside retouching academy so i have other frequency separation here like here i have flown frequency separation but today i'm i'm, I'm not gonna use it let's head straight to retouching academy um i'll click on this then 
this is the uh, already the the skin of the model is um soft so i'm not going to use a radius that is lower so as to maintain the details on the image so what i'm going to do i will use around radius of um 12 right oh no let's check um 13 13 click okay okay so the next thing i do is i hide my high frequency because i'm i'm working on the correcting tones then up here sorry i have to change to mixer brush to up here i have to check my sample layers my foreground on white and my background on black right so i zoom out small so so let me um start brushing okay so anything you are doing concerning this image have to make it look good and you know beautiful make it look spotless and exceptional okay so i'm i'm not going to waste much time on this uh, brush i just want to tell you the few steps i took while retouching the picture um who has been shouting on wow this picture is nice how did you take this picture how did you retouch the picture how did you maintain the uh, the details on the face and all that so this is the little process i use okay so i'm um, brushing down here easily like you all know you don't brush from shadows to highlights or you don't brush from highlight to shadows you brush highlight then um, come to shadows and come to shadows and brush so um this is how i do this okay right now so i'm gonna fast forward this video So guys, um, so far, I this is exactly what we've come up with. So this is the before, and this is the after. The before and after. I'm a bit rushing this um, retouch because of our time. I wouldn't want to take much of your time. So let's head straight to. Um, let me adjust the lead because when I took this particular picture, 
the lips and um, um, the, the I think the lip gloss or something has already gone out so that's why you can see the little little this thing on the lip so let's take care of that I have to click um, on clone stamp 2 let me see if this trick work sample and clean sample and clean sample and clean sample and clean okay so let's check the before and after all right that's cool so i will rush straight to um dodge and ball success i beg reduce volume beacon okay let's set straight to um dodge and burn here i have my own dodge and burn so what i do basically here is i click on the dodge and burn then reduce the color so that i can be able to see where i'm dodging and where i'm burning select the brush to shift your flow to three percent okay so let's check out this this is the highlights this is the highlights this is the highlights this is highlights okay so this is shadows shadows and um yeah so check out this place this place so i don't have much to do on the dodge and burn i this is basically how i do my dodge and burn before sorry before and after so it's a bit too much i have to reduce it a bit all right so that's cool um i have to apply my skin magic skin tone for skin uniformity or stuff like that so when you apply you just brush on the skin i'm sorry increase my this to this okay as you can see the image is coming out nice and great okay all right let's check out the hand side all right so i think it's now uniform okay so bring down the opacity down to 42 or 45 all right so this is the before and this is the after okay let's um what again do i do i okay let's just add my little um action that i created here every of the action that i use will be placed on the description so that if you want to download them um, you know have let's apply this old photo effect and see what will happen so basically wow i love this color but i have to reduce the opacity a bit okay so if you want to download any of this action on my action panel just click the link below and um, you will delete the, i'm sorry you will download them um straight on your pc or your mac so guys today that's the end of this video i didn't want to do much on this picture but this is a little step i took um while retouching the image that people have been shouting about wow this picture is nice so guys um don't forget to subscribe on this channel and click the bell notification icon for new notification anytime we put up something new i will see you in my next video